Well, we might as well find out what, what happens when I go deeper into the temple. It's sealed. Corypheus's lackeys managed to open it. Perhaps the altar holds a clue. Ah, there's a clue. Or, I mean, there's a puzzle. <laughs> Obviously, there's a clue. So, uh, it must be that I have to go deeper. Let's go back down, I suppose. Maybe we'll find some evidence down there. What the hell's going on here? Can't read these things, can I? No. No apparent interaction point. Alright. So we're gonna have to head down slope and see what secrets can be unearthed about this ungodly temple. What am I what's oh that's the uh, the vine I don't care about. So these things in the middle must give me something important to know. It appears the temple's magics are still strong. Is this Elven? Does it say anything about this Well of Sorrows? Atishol via Abalasan. It means enter the path of the Well of Sorrows. There is something about knowledge, respectful or pure. Shivan. Shivanen. Tis all I can translate. That it mentions the Well is a good omen. At least we know the Well of Sorrows was important. Supplicants to Mathal would have first paid obeisance here. Following their path may aid entry. Oh, no. This is bad. Rituals are bad. You can't want this. If need be, unless you wish to turn back. Huh. So, yeah, Morgan can't translate it all. Understandable, it's not her native language. She has studied it, but can't do it all. I'm kind of surprised Solus can't uh, translate it all, but maybe he's being intentionally secretive here. A little weird that I can't question him about it at all. Does it, Morgan have anything new to say? Yes. Tell, oh yeah, the ritual. This altar, what kind of ritual is this meant to be? I believe it represents a petition, a declaration of will to the priests who resided here. Some ancient elven ceremonies were said to take decades to complete. Hopefully this is not such a one. What sort of ceremony takes decades? Strange, is it not? So much time and effort. Perhaps that is what led to the wistful Dalish legends of lost elven immortality. My research uncovered many strange claims about elven ruins. Such as? Some insisted gods sent fantastic beasts to prophesize in their temples. Others said they whispered wisdom to those who slept there a year and a day without pause. The latter may hold some truth. Ancient elves were said to be gifted wanderers of the Fade. Let's continue. As you wish. Ah, uh -huh. well. Rituals that take decades to complete. That's a... Uh concerning for us mortals, but that could almost be a weird failsafe. If elves were truly immortal once, then it would one of their strengths that could have been unique to them would be the fact that they lived forever. So, they could use that. They could abuse that by making rituals that mortal races could never complete by using their one thing that made them so special and make essentially making it impossible for people like humans to do what they could do. Still though, the amount of patience and absurdity there. So standing on this makes it blue. Okay. Do I just walk in a circle? Is my whole goal just to step on all of these? Oh, come on. That was easy. Well done. Let us see what awaits. After you. I insist. Are you for real right now? Like, that was the puzzle? Go stand on... Go step on the thing without repeating yourself. That's like the most mind... I... I they're being really- they're being really easy with the puzzles in Bioware games lately, if they're ever a mandatory one. Which is fine, just kind of makes me wonder why they bother in the first place sometimes, but... Maybe they just wanted to get an opportunity for me to have some fun dialogue with Morrigan. Man, if I didn't stop to talk with Morrigan, that would have felt like a missed opportunity, because her conversation was more interesting than, than the puzzle was, for that's for sure. What's gonna happen as I venture deeper? Oh, no loading screen yet, at least. I get to walk inside. Quick chime for any items. Alright, it's getting darker. Loading screen now. Hold 
them off! Well, I can certainly see why they gave me those, those free, uh, those free potions in that one body outside, because they wanted to make sure I wanted this fight with the full amount of potions. So what are we going here? Three Red Templars on this on the right. Uh, a Horror on the left, so I believe they're generally more dangerous. Are there, is there an Archer out here? Alright, so we have a Marksman off in the distance, and the second Marksman. Okay. I'm gonna say Focus Fire on the more local people first, probably. Seems like a reasonable uh, move. Let's see. Let's have Dorian. I mean, we'll have Solus uh, get ready to uh, do an AoE pull to try to control the environment a bit. There we go. Make a big old mess out of things. Just lay it on thick. Just doing everything I can to weaken them now. They're sort of trapped in the middle a bit. They're spacing out a little bit more, but we should be able to take them out relatively easily. No one's taking too much damage. Sarah took a little bit of a hit, but he's also she's also relatively protected. I'm trying to just bury her. Vasty real quick to keep our tank safe. Granted, he often does that himself. <laughs> just freeze that guy while he's down to make sure he gets shattered. There we go, that's the shatter combo. There's a horror just kind of hanging out over there. Does he know that we're currently fighting? Kind of seems to be having a nice relaxing time where he relaxes. That was terrible English. A nice relaxing time where he relaxes in a for state of relaxation, which he finds relaxing. Yeah, I know how, I know grammar. Oh no! Low- oh, she's fine. Yeah. <laughs> For a very brief second, Sarah was low in health, and then that stopped happening. Full draw! Boom! How's that for a finisher? Whoa, everything stopped Come moving. On. We might catch them. Hold a moment. While they rush ahead, this leads to our true destination. We should walk the petitioner's path as before. Lady Morrigan was wrong about Corypheus seeking an Illuvian. Do we trust her now? While we dally with rituals, Inquisition soldiers die outside these walls. Down is swifter. In this case, I must agree with the witch. This is ancient ground, deserving of our respect. You see the urgency? We cannot find the Well of Sorrows unprepared. You're very eager to reach our destination. Are we not all eager to stop Corypheus from achieving his mad plan? It sounds like what you want is that well. There is... a danger to the natural order. Legends walked Thedas once, things of might and wonder. Their passing has left us all the lesser. Corypheus would squander the ancient power of the well. I would have it restored. I should take your word that this is altruism and not hunger for power. Ah, uh, yes. Far easier to believe the Witch of the Wilds full of greed. <sighs> Mankind blunders through the world, crushing what it does not understand. Elves, dragons magic. The list is endless. We must stem the tide, or be left with nothing more than the mundane. This I know to be true. I read more in the first chamber than I revealed. It said a great boon is given to those who use the Well of Sorrows, but at a terrible price. What exactly did that altar say about the Well of Sorrows? Like most elven writing, it was insufferably vague. The term I deciphered was Halam Shivanas, the sweet sacrifice of duty. It implies the loss of something personal for duty's sake, yet for those who served at this temple, a worthwhile trade. Is your real goal the power inside this well? Yes, if that is the only way to preserve it. My priority is your cause, but if the opportunity arises to save this well, I am willing to pay the cost. And gain what? That is what we must discover. The rituals may point the way.
when we wandered off for a second there, I was actually concerned that we were gonna be like, do you want the well for yourself? And be like, maybe. And then just keep walking without actually answering the question. But clearly, when we walked off, we did find more information. So, uh, we can follow Samson through the hole or perform the rituals. So, here we're choosing, what's the decision here? Do we chase him immediately or do we try to fulfill the areas? Ah, uh, what pride had wrought? Corypheus lieutenant has entered the Temple of Mytho. Beat them to the Well of Sorrows at the Temple's heart. All right. Well, this definitely seems like a reasonable place to say. Oh, well, I just created a new save. I guess that'll work too. Uh, this definitely seems like a multiple choice sort of thing. Huh. So I'm definitely gonna save here. I might do a. Uh, I might. I might do a non-canon episode where I show because I think I, I think I'm gonna do the rituals. I think that might be the right way to go here. But I think I'm also. I might also make a video showing what happens if I just jump in. If it turns out to be substantially different. Oh, that's the entrance. Have to go around the hole to proceed. Alright, let's figure out this ritual situation. I may not... I'm not entirely sure if I can trust Morgan, but... If Solus's input is that we should uh, listen... That she's probably right, then... I'm gonna trust him, more likely. He's been one of the more reliable people that I've had around this whole time. Well, that's not ex how I expected this to go. Can I walk around this? Oh, it broke. It broke. Okay, so that's the that's the end point. That's the starting point, obviously, because they put a wall there. And they're both dead ends. So let's find a way to navigate this in a way that does not rem no re no repeats. What? Oh, this is an issue. Oh, this is an issue indeed. Okay, so... Vivian? You stay here. I think I have to, uh... Yes. Oops, nope. I'm not trying to talk to you right now. I'm trying to jump. Ah. Let's see. I think I might have to split up the party in different areas that are walled off. I think that's the goal here. I think that if it's walled off, that means a separate person has to do that part? Let's see here. What do things look like on this side? Yep, another dead end. So I assume I have to do this side of the air. Oh, a lever. Does that make the walls go away? Or does it just change location? Oh, new walls. So now that area is walled off. Huh. So reasonably, I can probably... I can probably tell what am I- oh, there's a timer. Well, isn't that interesting? Oh wait, maybe it's not a timer, maybe it's just because I- I reset the puzzle? Let's see. I'm gonna start on one side and try to go all the way around. And if I can... If I'm lucky, I'll be able to... Reset some- what the hell's going on here? This place is a little confusing now. Okay, so... I'm gonna say, start on start on this spot, maybe? Yes. I'm not trying to talk to you, Morgan. I'm trying to jump. As Get, you wish. Getting all up in my business. Alright. Jump. Yes. I'm not trying to talk to you. I'm floating now. Oh god. What have I done? Trigger this spot? No? Huh. Mixed feelings here, so... Clearly the puzzles have gotten more complicated at the very least. I may have to manually flip the switch, but I wonder... I wonder if it'll accept if I go and tell another party member to go do it for me. They seem to be walking around without triggering anything, so I assume they somehow don't count? Maybe? Ah! Huh. I do have a conundrum in the fact that I have these two... Oh, okay. I was concerned about how to get past these two rotational parts, but I get it. I have to do the outside first. So same way around again. Still floating. This is concerning. So I'm gonna go around the outside, believing that if I go through the inside later, I can fulfill the loop. I'm gonna go right up to this wall here. And then we have to tell... Let's say tell uh, Vivian? Why can't... wait. Why can't I move over there? What about Vasti? 
What the hell? I can't tell them to flip the switch. But the moment I, I move towards the switch, the whole thing resets, doesn't it? What are the... Getting a little frustrated. I don't necessarily know... Oh, well, now that I switched, that screwed everything up. What if I tell Vasty to stay put? Is that an option? I can't tell Vasty to... Wow, okay. They refuse to let me... They won't let, they won't let me target the switch from here. So it must be timing based then. I just have to be fast, presumably. Okay. Huh. So I, I assume my goal is just to go through the whole thing quickly at this rate then. So let's just flip it. We're heading through. I assume I just have to go in and out of this area without the timer. Get out of the way, Morgan! I'm in a hurry! Guys, no! Don't be in my way. Alright, now I can safely stop for the moment, I think. So do I wait for it to reset, is the question. So this part has been fulfilled. I have to deal with this weird shape, though. Maybe if I go this way. Around. Ah! I've screwed myself. Yep, I screwed myself. Huh. What causes this gate to move back and forth? Is it timing based or not? Is what I'm concerned with. I'm getting a little frustrated just because I don't know all the rules here. Maybe if I try around this pattern and break it midway through. Zigzag here. Alright, stop before I make a mistake here. So I think I might be able to leave these two for last as I come back. If I can walk across the tile area without setting things off, that seems to be what I'm allowed to do. So let's flip the switch to change which parts are accessible. And see if it'll let me walk through here without setting it off. Still safe? Okay. I may have just solved it. A little bit of a learning curve just trying to figure out what I'm allowed to and not allowed to do. Because it's kind of not explained, which, you know, ancient elven ruin, I, I get it. Alright, so that's all lit up. Now she sees last two. Come on. I win! That did something. Indeed. Time to proceed to the next ritual, I should think. Ah, no fanfare, no reward, just to meet just go on to the next one. Alright, well this one looks like it's just an open area, so at least there's not a crazy puzzle going on. I should have not done that. That was not a smart thing to do when you're trying in the middle of a dungeon where you might have to fight. Alright, let's be careful here. Use some problem-solving skills, so... <coughs> how do I proceed in a fashion that doesn't repeat? Let's see if I can just wing it, first of all, because that might be totally possible. Ah! Oh, immediately fucked up. Okay. So I, already, I immediately made a corner that I won't be able to navigate without repeating, so... Take it a little slower. My goal is to start on the right here and finish on this left side, so... Have to go this far, no matter what. Can't turn back. Okay, so... Question is, how do I fill that in without creating a problem for myself? So, I say go around like this. What if I go to the corner from here? So I go left, right, left, yep. Left, right, left. No problem. And I just run back and forth and get these ones. No problem. The ritual is complete. We are close. There is but one more path to follow. So far, these seem pretty easy. Uh, the, the main difficulty I had was the one with the crazy switch and weird area where apparently you could walk off it without messing it up. And that was just because I wasn't sure what I was allowed to do. But now that issue's out of the way. Pretty straightforward. Got this watery area, is it safe to walk across? Sure is. What's this loot? There's some wool? Oh. There's just kind of a bunch of supplies just kind of around on the ground out here. 15 gold, not as valuable as actual crafting materials. And Battlemaster Mail. Okay, back to the rituals. The wool's at least additional crafting materials. The other stuff's just trash and tiny sprinkles of gold. So what is this temple going to be like? Is it going to be easier or harder than the Switch one is my primary concern. Oh, shit. I didn't think I was there yet. Okay, so these... I need to light all of these up. And I need to light all of these up. Let's get... I'm, I'm ignoring them right now, so this is not me solving the puzzle. I'm just trying to figure out what the layout is around here. Walking around here apparently does not set it off. 
There's more over here. Is there more on the other, other side? There is. But it appears to be an exact duplicate of the other of this side over here. So really just have to same solve the same solve one puzzle and then be able to walk over and do the same thing twice. So uh, ideally I'll end here on this side. So I should probably start on the other side. I assume what I'm going to do is I'm going to start down here. So let's go looping back and forth. Immediately created a problem for myself, didn't I? All right, let's try starting over. Huh. I do kind of immediately have problems here, don't I? Because I need to figure out how to loop through this area without causing a traffic jam. So, what if I try running all the way around? Can I do that reasonably? Maybe if we start on this inner circle? Maybe I, can I go, maybe I can go up and down the stairs without being a problem. Alrighty then. Then let's say I loop all the way around and continue around again. That seems reasonable so far. I think I'm on the right track. I've solved multiple puzzle games, Dragon Age. This is not going to be what defeats me. Can I walk across safely? Yes. Ta-da! That's this side completed. So now I just need to go do the other side without messing up a single time. Or I'll have to start the whole thing over. Not ideal. Question is, how do I start on the inside if I'm already on the outside? Answer is I probably don't. So let's do the outside first this time. Since I can't seem to do the inside first because I'd have to walk across the outside ring first. Go down and around. Same thing as before, right? Yep. Making sure there's no surprises or variations. Keep the inner circle safe for my return trip. And here we go. All right, inner circle. I seem to be on the right track with this one. Come on. Don't mess up. There we go. Everything is lit. So can we go now? Come, let us see if the doors have opened. Huh. Sarah and Iron Bull disapprove of the fact that I did the rituals instead of just running through. Makes sense. They're both... They're both very realist, uh, in the moment, non-spiritual, non-magical people. Neither of them can neither, neither of them can really cast magic, and maybe don't even have great feelings for it. So the the ritual nature of what I've done may not appeal to them. Vivian slightly disapproves, and that's because well, I mean, we, she stated her opinion earlier. Odd that they only gave me disapprovals. None of the people that approve of what I do I do are expressing their approval. Will you abandon these rituals, Inquisitor? Think carefully. There is no return once we leap after the Templars. I'm not abandoning the rituals. I'm going towards the door, silly. This is the only way to go there. We need to journey deeper into the temple. And then die horribly, I guess. Tis not what I expected. What was this chamber used for? Hmm. We're being watched. Venavis. You are unlike the other invaders. You stumble down our paths at the side of one of our own. You bear the mark of magic, which is familiar. How has this come to pass? What is your connection to those who first disturbed our slumber? They are my enemies, as well as yours. I am called Abelas. We are sentinels, tasked with standing against those who trespass on sacred ground. We wake only to fight, to preserve this place. Our numbers diminish with each invasion. I know what you seek. Like all who have come before you, you wish to drink from the Vera Belasan. The place of the Way of Sorrows. He speaks of the well. It is not for you. It is not for any of you. So you're elves from ancient times? Before the Tevinter Imperium destroyed Arlathan? The Shemlin did not destroy Arlathan. We Elven warred upon ourselves. 
By the time the doors to this sanctuary closed, our time was over. We awaken only when called, and each time find the world more foreign than before. It is meaningless. We endure. The Vera Belisan must be preserved. What is this Vera Belisan exactly? It is a path, one walked only by those who toiled in Mithal's favor. He speaks of priests, perhaps. More than that, you need not know. Solus, perhaps he'll listen to you. What shall I say, Inquisitor? Shall I sway him from a millennia of service by virtue of our shared blood? He clings to all that remains of his world, because he lacks the power to restore it. We came to stop Corypheus. He's here to take your well, not I. I believe you. Trespassers you are, but you have followed rites of petition. You have shown respect to Mithal. If these others are enemies of yours, we will aid you in destroying them. When this is done, you shall be permitted to depart. And never return. This is our goal, is it not? There is no reason to fight these sentinels. Consider carefully. You must stop Corypheus, yes, but you may also need the well for your own. I accept your offer. You will be guided to those you seek. As for the Vera Belisan, it shall not be despoiled, even if I must destroy it myself. No! Morgan! Well, that escalated. So I've chosen not to immediately... I mean, these people have been here for an incredibly long time and they're the guardians of this location. I don't need to arbitrarily just pick... I don't need to just go hunting for ancient relics to make become more powerful or anything. Like, these are... That's the kind of move that Corypheus makes. And I'm not supposed to be Corypheus. Morgan disagrees. That's fine. Morgan usually disagrees with things I do. Open this door by completing the rituals. Oh god, there's more rituals. <laughs> I'm almost certainly going to be doing non-canon playthroughs of this of this area where I check out some of the other options and what and what happens when you pick them just to see the the alternate dialogues and stuff like that. So that's something to look forward to. If you don't mind the fact this that things will pause. This would be our guide. Mytholanast. That's helpful since Morrigan chased off on her own. Dear Morrigan left to use the well herself, undoubtedly. Well, they're not going to be very happy to deal with Morrigan if that happens. She's going to get herself killed unless she's much more powerful than I think she is, because a lot of people around here. What's going on? Oh. Well, that's neato. I bet you if I kill them all, then I don't have any access to these secret entrances, so it's actually really confusing and weird to get around here. My controller is vibrating. The impulses right now. And I'm not sure what for, but there are does appear to be enemies. Are they slamming things? Oh, they're fighting out there. This place looks untouched. Codex Unlocked. The Judgment of Mythal. Whenever one of the people wronged another, they would not call on Elgernan to avenge them. For this fury would destroy all it touched. Mythal saw this bring strife among the people and went to Elgernan. She offered to deliver justice when the people warred amongst themselves. Algernon saw her wisdom and agreed, binding all to abide by her verdicts. Some petitioning Mythal for justice hid jealousy, accusing those who had done them no wrong. She saw their lies and struck them down. Others petitioning Mythal for justice burned with wrath for imagined slights. She saw their weak hearts and struck them down. Those coming with her... Those coming to her with clear minds and open hearts were granted judgment and protection, and Mythal harried their enemies until the end of their days. Story of Elven, God Mythal, author unknown. Uh, looting that vase by the Mythal stat. Yeah. That seems to be like desecrating Elven ruins type stuff. Like, I've been punished before for accidentally doing that. I don't think I'm going to intentionally do it this time. So clearly, uh, the guys that barged. Corpheus's guys barged in. And they're trying to just run through this, brute force this whole area, and they're being punished for it because they're it's they're t they're fighting out there, and it's taking them a long time. They're fighting all the guardians, which are doing their job like always. On the other hand, we are taking a secret entrance. Codex unlocked, unreadable Elven writing. What? 
Well, I can't not look at that, can I? History. Gotta look for that star. The little asterisk that shows up that indicates new things is often very difficult to spot, unfortunately. Especially if you accidentally start off highlighting it already. Uh, Velfire writing from a ruin in the Arbor Wilds. The script is so ancient it just it defies translation. What? I just Enshra. flat out can't do it. Gilas Velathan. I believe she would prefer that we remain close. Just a quick look around. I mean, there are, there are things to check out around here, right? Oh, do I loot that? It's not a rel doesn't seem to be a magical statue, at least. Mosaic. Is it mosaic? Song to Elgernan. Elgarnan, wrath and thunder, give us glory, give us victory over the earth that shakes our cities. Strike the usurpers with your lightning, burn the ground under your gaze, bring winged death against those who throw down your our work. Elgarnan, help us tame the land. Song to Elgarnan found in the temple of Mythal are unknown. So yeah, I, I only really oh mosaic of Drithaman. Uh, twins and shadow. Dirthamon and Falodin are linked in Dalish legends as inseparable twin brothers. Scraps of elven stories from after the fall of, Al of Arlothan, transcribed into Tevinter, and recently lent to our fair university, refer to them as twin souls, but draw no familiar connection. The oldest stories never even name them directly, referring to Falodin as Dirthamon's shadow and Dirthamon as Falodin's reflection. The little we understand implies their bond was not romantic beyond even the strongest friendship. The legends of Dirthamon and Falodin have been at an allegory for complex elven relationships we lack context for compre to comprehend. From a treaty of the pagan and heretical customs of the elven by Senelin Tarven uh, Tarvenier of the University of Orlais, commissioned by Empress Celine. It's somewhat weird that looking at things around here gives you Orlais-based uh, codex entries. Because you'd kind of expect to get some special insight that's unique to this location, but in reality, your, all, your, all of your insight is just based in a... Oh, can I just grab... Can I tell everyone to grab one of these? Oh, hell yeah. This is fun. Get in there, Sarah. Join in. Now we really look like we're respecting customs or something. Or I'm just lighting fires in holy temples that shouldn't have fires in them because I'm, I'm reasonable. Mosaic of Gilanen. The Ascension of Gilanane. Gilanane kept herself apart from the people. She used her power to create animals none had ever seen. The skies teemed with her monsters, the land with, at, with her breasts. Andrew hunted them all, and after a year of killing, approached Gilanane with an offer. The gods would share their power with Gilanane, but only if she destroyed her creations, for they were too ta untamed to remain among the people. Gilanane agreed and asked for three days to undo what she had done. On the first day, she struck down the monsters of the air, except those she presented to Andril as a gift. On the second day, she drowned the giants of the sea, except those in deep waters, for they were too well wrought and pride stopped her hand. On the third day, she killed the beasts of the land, except the hollow, whose grace she loved above all else. This is how Gilanane was made the youngest of the gods. Story of elven god Gilanane, author unknown. So they were tried to repent by t taking part in specific actions, but then kind of stepped back on some of that stuff. That is a lot of money at the base of a... That, that just seems... Picking up loot that is clearly left in tribute seems like it could be something that would not work out well for me. Let's just follow the sentinel. Deeper into the temple. <laughs> really never gets old watching the wall opens the walls open like that. What are we going to find around here? More wolf statues? What's that over here? Oh, it's a corpse. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll loot a red Templar. No, no problem there. Hey, supplies replenished. Goody, goody. What do we have here? Ancient elven writing. Again. Once again, unreadable. Really, not even a... Not even a Solus can read them, who's the person I'm controlling right now. Kind of would expect him to be a little more help. Where's the skip to the new one button? Oh no, I didn't see it. Oh no, was it because I was highlighting it? That happens sometimes. Oh, there it is. Shit. This elven writing found in the Arbor Wilds is so old there seems to be no way to learn what it means. Really, are we going to have multiple kind of detail-free elven writings? This seem like they could have been... Those don't seem entirely necessary to include. More money that I shouldn't... Yeah. 
It seems really clear that I should not interact with that stuff, or less I'd be... Oh, there's a switch here that I can't seem to have access to. Just kind of scraping this area for lore at the moment. There's a veil fire location and a, do and a door I can open. Where is our... Oh shit, where's our guide? Did he just keep... Did they keep going upstairs? Yep, there they are. Okay. Just doing a little bit of a look-see. What are these side doors open to? Oh, there's bad guys in that direction. That's where all the Templars are. Don't want to go that way unless I want to get in a fight. How about this one? Untranslatable elven writing. Oh, dear lord. Is this going to keep happening? Because I just have to carefully search every goddamn time. Because they're like, we're going to be clever, silly people. And it's... Uh, this Veilfire script was hidden in the Arbor Wilds. It's so old it cannot be translated to any known language. Are they all going to be synonyms? It seems like they're all going to be synonyms. Uh, from now on, I'm just going to not check if it says something like that. It seems a little silly that there's so many codex entries in that section, like 85, and some of them aren't even legit. They're just like weird bullshit duplicates of that same thing. Song to Celeste. Silace whose heart rivals Elgernon's light, Silace whose temples rival Mythos cities, Silace whose breath rivals Andril's spear, Silace whose skill rivals June's craft, Silace whose fire cannot be quenched. We give ourselves gladly to your service. Song to Silace found in the Temple of Mythol, author unknown.